hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel so today we'll learn how to edit our uh, woodmar theme how to set up our woodmar theme how to edit our woodmar theme headers how to uh, edit our woodmar theme settings how to set up our woodmar theme uh, theme options so uh, let's start it before started please give me a quick favor uh, if you don't have already subscribed my youtube channel please uh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up uh, bell icon notification bell icon for latest and more uh, content let's start to our theme so uh, first uh, we need to uh, install and uh, set up our uh, woodmar theme I have already installed I have already video link in description how to add uh, set up our theme how to import our theme demo so let's start to edit our theme so let's start uh, with our theme options so go to admin dashboard uh, theme options so here's our theme options uh, let's start one by one and quick uh, overview of theme options and how to set up our theme options as i give a very quick uh, overview of all the options uh, let's get started with our layouts so in under the general menu the layout is a set up your header we have a different headers overlay header dark overlay headers our default header layout so we are using a uh, header base if you we are changing uh, default of none if a uh, dark overlay a uh, header overlay so we can set up according to this let's save an options and let's try with this option uh, we have a lot of options uh woodmar theme so the purchasing of woodmar theme is go to theme forest and uh, purchase it them from theme west and uh, avento markets and uh, whatever where you want so i have purchased from theme forest so i am recommended the user uh, original version of theme not uh, using a null version or anything so is is a theme layout so go to check the header layout you can see the header layout has been changed according we have set up we can now using base so this is a sidebar options uh, so the shop page sidebar option you can set a site full width and you can also set a custom width now oh, sorry you can set up a custom width if you have requirement oh sorry so you can set custom width according to your uh, container uh, height width so is the max size is 1920 you can set up according to we have all different options are uh, boxed uh, full container width uh, width is a 16 pixel width so full width are by default i am choosing so you can set a sidebar small medium or large so you can set your shop uh, sidebar go to shop page you can set a sidebar size a left uh, right side uh, or right side so if a right side it's mean it's a block side bar so you can set according to your uh, choice so you can also off confer sidebar of uh, using mobile view header banner so the banner uh, if you want to set up header banner so you can set here's here banner link and you can add uh, some content of banner you can add a background image of your banner choose uh, from your library uh, you can set a banner type dark or light if you want to add a low overlay of dark so you can set a dark if you want to a light so you can set a light so banner height you can also set your banner height here uh, close button close button of a banner so if you want to uh, close the banner banner is come when the page load is uh, up down and if in a woodmart demos in a friday demo the banner is here so not uh, here let's suppose we are open the banner using a link hash some content uh, test banner you can also set up your uh, html blocks if you want to set up your html block we have a html block html blocks like a, a elementor templates so uh, it's same like as elementor templates it's uh, already in, uh, added in our elementor let's suppose we are choosing a one background image something let's suppose we are choosing this one so it's uh, looking like this and we're using dark banner height we can set here's banner height 
so 47 pixels the save option so this is a banner of your uh, wordpress uh, woodmart theme so banners are overlaying from the top side reload the site yeah this one this is the banner so you can see here is the test uh, icons image are repetitive because we have not set the image setting in repeat no repeat image size cover and whatever you want to set so here is a close button so you can set up your according to your requirement if you don't want so just a close and save option so now i am giving you a, a quick overview because uh, we are uh, covering a lot of options so we have a promo pop-up if you want to a pop-up uh, first time you can add it from L html blocks so the html block i have already uh, tell you the post type in woodmart uh, by default theme uh, so this is these are uh, uh, HTML templates it's a pre-built elementor templates if you are using elementor if you are using wp com uh, composer so the pre-built wp composer templates so just add it in Elementor as just like uh, add it Elementor so we don't uh, uh, do anything else about uh, Elementor so we just need uh, like this uh, uh, mega menu template so just add it according to your requirement so you can change and just update if you want to add your because this is our, all our demo options you, uh, of course you uh, you want your own uh, uh, item option you just close the I, uh, item and go uh, uh, add your own and just closing we are uh, just uh, overviewing of the in this topic so here's how you can set a banner of your uh, pop-up background so pop-up text you can light a dark and pop-up width hide on mobile yes no if you want to own, no uh, if you want to own mobile so you just off this option if you don't want to in mobile so just on the this option uh, pop-up scroll after time you can set up pop-up delay and pop-up version you can also uh, uh, show after number of page visited uh, you if you want to set up if you two three pages visited then show the pop-up if you want to set up two pages visited one page visited, zero page is a uh, uh, pop-up will be showing so age verify pop-up you also set up age verify if you are uh, selling something like a uh, smoking element something like our uh, age factor where it matters so don't want to kick if you want to age age verification pop-up so you can just enable this options quickly law pop-up so mobile bottom navbar if you want to like a mobile application type so you, you want to in a bottom so you can set a here and let's suppose we go to inspect so uh, these uh, these options if you want to like this these options so you can set uh, here if you change and here's our multiple options so you can select all and delete set search icons so you can search by SKUs blog search if you want to enable use a responsive Ajax search so just must enable the Ajax is the most effective if you don't want so just uh, disable this is the optional sticky navigation so select the menu of uh, sticky navigation so you can set here the title of uh, your menu is a custom if you want to set a custom HTML template you can also set up custom HTML template and just save option and go the further so here's the page title so uh, uh, expect uh, home page you if you want to set your page titles page layouts you can set up here each and everything we have a lot of options so you just are exploring those options i'm giving you a quick if you want to set up footers so you can set up here as a layout of the footers widgets if you want to widgets if or if you want to create a html blog or an elementor footer and uh, choose from here otherwise you can set up from here uh, or oh, uh, pre footer so already pre footer is enabled if you go to our your website this, these are pre footer these icons is a pre footer so you can see here's pre footer id html block 728 so go to html block 728 id this one this is a pre footer already set up so if you want set a text so you ju just add a html block short code if you want to so you choose html block so you can then is the typography because uh, all the websites has a consistent colors colors combination font families font size of headings and text so, so you can set up a uh, globally fr uh, from here so you can set up your font family you can set up font weight and you can set up a latin font size font color the default if your text font 
title found you can set here uh, found families uh, so this is the globally setting so if you want to set up globally setting you can set from here it's uh, automatically pick if, uh, if you specify you can set in elementor you can set in customization it's uh, up to you so the next uh, we have advanced options of typography custom fonts if you want to add a custom fonts icons fonts uh, adopt adopt fonts is a new options you can need to adopt project id so the next is a style and colors so you can set up primary colors globally this is the all setting of our globally setting you can uh, here's our buttons our forms notices so blog settings are available portfolio settings are available and the most important the shop setting of because a uh, woodmart is a e-commerce store so we need to set up our shop, shop setting up globally so you can set up here sku wise setup catalog mode uh, size guiding if you want to size guiding uh, hide the card prices uh, frequently bought and we have a variable products settings of uh, product set uh, labels so here's are the most important the settings labels brands quick view comparing wish list card checkout thank you woodmart has a very great very great very great set uh, theme options and theme setting and documentations also available of uh, hold the uh, woodmart theme so free shipping bar if you set up a free shipping bar so we'll, let's suppose you set a goal uh, if you someone purchasing a above the thousand so then the free shipping if you someone purchasing above the hundred to so free shipping so it's a bar like a own card uh, let's suppose i will show go back to our shop page theme setting save um if i add add to cart this option so you can see here uh, free shipping is enabled because we have set up 100 so if i'm closing the 299 products i test 80 so add 20 you can set up a uh, free shipping so this goal is setting from here so the next is product archive so you can ajax shop uh, scroll ajax uh, breadcrumbs product grid so product style the most important thing the how to set up uh, showing your products you can set up your product styles from here you if you want uh, currently i think so this one set up so i am changing from this to this one this is look good go back to our choppy when the setting has been saved yes and reload the, this one you can see our uh, product style is changed so you can set up here and category styles you can also set up your category shop filters widgets page titles and sidebars of a shop page so single product page if you own the single product you need a sidebar without sidebar so product design like this or this this is the different because here's our text in the center alignment says the left alignment sticky product if you want to add a sticky become a sticky project we have a lot of option so mj style add to cart these these all setting of a single product element setup reviews tabs related up to sale here's a my account settings social icons api integration if you want to instagram apis so instagram apis as of uh, go to home page is connecting your account with instagram so you need to set connect with, here's your instagram uh, site performance this is important disable gutenberg style disable gutenberg style in editor you can uh, uh, always uh, style always load styles never load if you want to set up style never load same as rjs font icons lazy loading plugin so do you if you want to uh, using a uh, woodmart you know no need to uh, another plugin for performance for uh, blo blockage so you just need a cache plugin and you need uh, uh, these settings so it's automatically enable of uh, um, a performance as a bit uh, better than uh, compared to other themes it's a very good thing if you enable the preloader so you just enable other uh, setup maintenance mode also here is the option how you can set up your maintenance mode here so white labels custom css if you want to add your custom css custom js and we have other settings elements navigation margin and little uh, some custom setting allow svg upload and you can also export when you set up your whole setting i highly recommend you just export options 
and you can save your setting your say it's downloaded in json file when you need to import the setting just click the import and setting will be imported this guy is currently no setting as available so it's not the next point is a header builder the most important how to build our headers so header builder you can set it is see his header base is enabled you just added this header from header builder you can go from here woodmart header builder so here's our header enabled from mobile from desktop you can add uh, elements of in header we have a lot of elements available header main menu this is our top bar if you disable your top, top bar you just go back here hide on desktop hide on mobile just save it this task bar, task bar is uh, disabling from but this is the top bar green so just enable reload you can see here our, our top bar is uh, disabled if you want to enable you just open option so save it and you we have a, a, a lot of option logo change search icons and a lot of so you can just set up if you want to change a menu select the menu let's go mobile menu our main navigation save and save by default is a picking a main menu so it's also main already select a main menu let's suppose i'm changing another menu top or left menu for example just save it go back to here is also menu set this this is because we are duplicate some options so you can see his uh, menu change is a uh, go to top right this menu is uh, come to here so if you want to change this menu if you want to change this menu go back to main main navigation you can set up category setting here select the menu if you, for categories by default is picking a category menu because we have set a menu locations from menu options appearance menu so we can we have set up two two location our mobile menu and mobile side menu so we, if you here are setting so it's automatically pick off mobile menu so our uh, header builder and now go back to last step is our pages so here's a uh, pages by default preloaded so just and uh, uh, if you want to edit let's suppose home page you just go to edit with elementor uh, here's how we are we have our layouts so currently no layout if you want to set a layout for a single product page a archive page card page you can just add your layout from here uh, these are a lot of layouts let's suppose i am want this layout so create layout so it's creating a layout in a home page uh, also we are parallelly uh, added a home page so it is an elementor option you can just edit this option and blocks setting up a uh, elementor so this all totally uh, plugin based you can set up here set up mg setting uh, ajax product tab so you can set up according to your requirements you can set up uh, here's a bestseller slider so just close we don't want to update anything so here's a creating a single product page so just uh, publish so our layout is uh, published so go back to here select the single product page so you can see our layout is a uh, published which we have created uh, currently so this is the option to how to create your layouts and how to set up so uh, my amazing viewers and subscribers not subscribers all of those we today we learn how to edit our uh, woodmark theme how to set up our woodmark theme how to set up layouts how to set up headers how to edit our pages how to set up our theme settings and a quick overview of our theme options if you like our video please give us thumb ups and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon button thank you very much we are meeting in our next video with amazing and new content related to tech wordpress react and anything